Hello, it's Lou Collins. Thank you so much for joining my channel. Um, I'm going to show you today a quick technique using the Textures Magnolia Drive uh, stencils. Now, this is one of two stencil sets that come in the collection. This is the Distressed Damask and Fading Dots. Now, you notice each one actually fades out or into the pattern. Um, this is created because very often when I use a stencil, I'll have the stencil there and I'll actually end up only using a small part of it and I have to very carefully sort of work out the fading to make it nice and even. Whereas with this you don't have to because all the work's done for you. So using the damask, I'm just going to pop this away from my backing sheet. Now when you do take them off the backing sheet, you're going to have a little bit of sticky on the back. This is a nice new one, so I've still got that there. Um, just you can just peel that off there, um, pop it onto something so that I'll give it a rub with your finger just so it's not too sticky and it doesn't affect your paper there. So I'm going to lay this over my cardstock there. I've got a panel of black cardstock here already. Let's put this onto a mat and I'm going to use some low tack tape just to hold this down Oops. onto my black cardstock. So making sure that the design runs right off the bottom of the cardstock here. There we go. And I'm going to put through this um, a pearlescent medium, but the fact that it's pearlescent doesn't really matter. It's just a wet medium with lots of texture. So any sort of texture paste, maybe gesso if you use that, will work absolutely fine. I just wanted something that's slightly raised up to give me even more dimension within this pattern. So um, I'm just going to start squidging this through. Keep your stencil down nice and tight to your paper. If you've got something like um, an ad adhesive, a spray adhesive that's repositionable, perfect for stencils or a stencil glue, of course, you could use that just to keep it down. Make sure that none of the design sort of seeps under the stencil. So holding it down nice and tight. Now, some of the bits may look a little bit of an odd pattern. That's where the design is fading out. And that's what we want. We want that, that look without having to worry about trying to do it ourselves. Because very often with things like art journaling, you just want a small amount of pattern in a small area. And stencils tend to come in large, large pieces, like A5, A6, 6x6, six six, whatever they may be. You don't always want to use all of that. There we go. So I've covered my stencil, all of the black cards at least showing through. There we go, scrape the excess into there and I make sure I've got either a bowl or a tub of water or I'm near a basin or a sink so I can pop the spatula and the stencil straight into there. So carefully lifting that off and you'll see you've got this beautiful design that's fading out. Mm. Now lifting this off my um, mat there and now I'm going to pop this into, uh, pop lots of, mm. I'm just going to pop a piece of cardstock underneath there. And I'm just going to sprinkle some gold embossing powder over all of the design. And as you tap that down, that will ca should capture any areas that you've missed. Give it a flick, and essentially, we just want to make sure there's none up here. So, I've got a little bit of something that's not embossing powder, though that's a little bit of glue, so I can remove that in a minute. And there we go. So, let's pop this back into our pot very quickly, and then we'll heat set this embossing powder. Now, what you'll find is because we're on a texture paste. This will raise up and bubble a little bit, but oops, I've moved a bit, so I'll leave that, fix that afterwards. But while it raises and bubbles, that's absolutely fine. It's not an issue at all. Let's hold it over. It takes a little longer, I find as well, for the embossing powder to melt, but as soon as it's melted, you can then just move on to the next area. And you'll find you'll get additional texture really does look as if it's gilded when you do this. There we go, so that's still quite warm but that's all melted. It should be touch dry from the top. You don't want to press down on it too much at the moment 
because that could still um, be a little bit damp underneath and a little bit watery. So now I'm going to take uh, a stays on ink and I'm going to, or oh, two stays on inks, I've got a brown and I've got a blue. I'm just going to brush over the surface of these a little bit and that's just going to help add or really pick out some of the detail. So just being, like I say, being careful because some of the areas might not quite be dry. So there's the brown, so that's dulled it down slightly. Then I'm just going to add a few areas of teal. Now the, these just be a little bit a little more green, so it'll give the, give the black a bit of a patina look. And go heavier in some places than others. Beautiful. Okay. Now quickly clean that off of my mat as best I can. So now we've got a lovely aged patinaed look to this uh, distressed masking. Now I'm going to attach this to my card there using foam tape, like so. And then I've got within the textures range, I've also got some wonderful sentiments now this comes from this pack here this is the sentiments for all paper pack uh, these are both black and white now I'm wondering whether white would stand out better made for you with love or whether I need to use a black sentiment let's see what have I got so Stand tall, set down proud. Let's see. I think the white, I mean, that I think the white will echo the nice um, white background there. So we've got made for you with love. We could put it at the top there, or we could have it down the bottom. What do we think? I think at the top, I think at the top there, right in the center. That's already mounted onto foam tape. You know what? I've just had a thought, just had a quick thought. Carefully going to peel this off. It came away nicely, didn't it? And to trim off the word love. And I've got the word love here already cut out. Now this has come from my wildflowers collection. I think the two of these together made for you with, put that in the middle. And then let's just glue a little bit of wet glue the word love that's already die cut I don't know why it was there it just happens to be there it's one of these things isn't it sometimes everything happens for a reason that die cut happened to just be mixed up with my magnolia drive things there we go and it's got the teal in it which we've got within the inking there made for you with love so that's almost removed it might have to also that's quite gluey there I might have, it actually might be a little bit of the pearlescent paste so that's probably why it's not removing as much as i'd hoped but there's the stencil there's how you can use the fading stencils so this is the distress damask and fading dot set you find them with the magnolia drive collection products these are all available on craft stash and i'll link everything below so you can find it all thank you so much for joining me if you like videos like this please do remember to subscribe to my channel take care everybody bye bye